Welcome to video tutorial number three for creating interactive flip charts in Active Inspire. In this tutorial, I'm going to work you through the steps of using the puzzle generator that you can download from Promethean Planet. So the first thing you want to do is have your computer open to prometheanplanet.com and I'm going to search in here for puzzle generator. And any of the flip charts that you download from Promethean Planet, you can first preview them by clicking the preview button, um, which pulls up some screenshots and gives you some more information about the flip chart to see if it's actually something you want to download. If you decide you do like it and you want to download it, you're just going to click the download button and it will download your flip chart for you. So once we download it, we're going to open up the file. Okay, so once the flip chart opens, you can see from the page browser that you have a lot of pages in here that you can play with and look at. A lot of generated puzzles already made for you. You can just go in and um, change some of the pieces, change the titles of the things that are on the pieces. Or you can make your own puzzle, and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So if we go to the second page in the file, um, there's a page here called Jig Flip. And very often when you download a file from Promethean Planet, if you click in the, in the browser box on the Notes browser, it will give you instructions on how to properly use the flip chart that you downloaded. And this one walks you through the steps of downloading onto your computer JigFlip, which is the actual puzzle generator. So uh, you have to kind of link out. It links out to this person's blog, Nigel Pierce, and you're going to download the puzzle generator from that blog. Okay, so we're going to go there. I'm going to click on this piece as it instructs us to do. And it's going to open up his website. And on his blog he gives very specific directions on how to use JigFlip and how to make it work for you. So you can spend some time looking through his examples and um, his ideas. And when you're ready you can go ahead and download JigFlip. So I'm going to click on download. And it's going to download to my computer an exe file, an executable file. I'm going to open that file and I'm going to click run and it's going to launch JigFlip. And JigFlip is very kind of self-explanatory, easy to The way you need to do this is you need to open up your My Pictures, where you have your picture saved, and you're going to have the box open next to this JigFlip box. And we're just going to scroll down and find a picture here. We'll use this one. Okay, and once you have your picture in the box, you can decide if you want 12 pieces in your puzzle or 48 pieces in your puzzle, obviously choosing an easier, harder puzzle. Um, you can do a hint image, which puts the actual image in the middle of your page so that the students know where to line up their puzzle pieces. If you don't have a hint image, it's just going to be all the pieces on a blank page, so there's no clue as to what the puzzle looks like. You can also do the background page, a uh, different color if you choose to. I'm going to actually leave it white. And when I hit make, it's going to automatically dump it into a flip chart and open that flip chart. Okay, so I'm going to hit make. And then I'm going to go back to where I have Active Inspire open. And you can see it's importing it and it automatically opens it up in a new flip chart. So I have my old flip chart open from the one I downloaded. And then it automatically opens up a new jig flip flip chart with your puzzle. And you can begin making that puzzle. So it's a little fun thing to do. You can make a puzzle out of any picture you want. You just drag it onto that box and hit make. So have fun. Thanks for watching.